I'm Matt Cerrone of MetsBlog.com, and welcome to the Mets Minor League Report, today featuring pitching prospect Josh Edgen. Chosen in the 30th round of the 2010 draft, the Southpaw, who hasn't pitched above single-A St. Lucie, suddenly finds himself on the radar of the Mets' front office, thanks to the injury to Tim Burdak. Edgen was recently promoted to Major League Camp and has pitched in several games, which has given him a look at Major League hitters. They're a lot more patient. Uh... They wait for their pitch, so that makes you have to throw your pitch even better. You know what I mean? There's no room for that, you know, missing by an in or missing by a couple inches in, or you know, that ball's going to get smoked. However, it still looks like a long shot for Edgen to make the majors by opening day. Although he saw success at two levels in 2011, splitting a season between Savannah and the South Atlantic League and St. Lucie and the Florida State League, there's no doubt he's an unfinished product. The biggest thing I'm working on would probably. Probably a change up, maybe a little more consistency uh, with my fastball and slider, but uh, definitely need to add the change up to the repertoire. Uh, been working on it, but you know, it's still a work in progress. No matter where he starts the year, Edgen's development will be watched closely by those in the organization, as lefties like him are hard to come by. I envision him being the type of guy that's probably just going to come in and, and face lefties. But uh, I, I can also see him because if he can refine his cutter, his, his cut fastball, you know, I can see him having uh, success against right-handed hitters as well. But, yeah, we'll see. You don't have any left-handers that are 95, 96 miles an hour with a good slider like he's got. And he's a competitor. He knows the strike zone. He's all, what, what I've seen in the short time, he's able to pitch to both sides of the plate. He's a left-hander that pitches inside. Makes it tough on hitters. Of course, one must use caution in evaluating Edgen. His overall command needs work, and even he admits his changeup is not ready. There's also the value in seeing him face both double-A and triple-A hitters before exposing him to the majors. But the potential to rise quickly is there, based on being left-handed alone. He could be the first guy to go to the big leagues as a pitcher, uh, you know, depending on what happens at the major league level, because he's a power arm left-hander, and, and we really do lack that in the organization. He, he could move very fast. As for Josh himself, he remains focused despite the added attention. I'm conscious of that, but I also don't want to let it get to my head. I want to, you know, I want to just embrace where I'm at and do well where I'm at and, you know, not move up just because I'm a lefty in the pen, just move up because I'm throwing well. We'll see if he throws well enough to move up through the system, as well as how fast and how far. But it is possible that we'll see Edgen in Queens at some point in 2012. I'm Matt Throne. Thanks for watching the Mets Minor League Report.